This video is going to explain the placement and significance of World War I U.S. Army uniform insignia. Now, quick note before I get started, this particular uniform is a tailor-made uniform, so it varies slightly in construction and materials from the issued uniforms. However, the placement of all the patches and insignia is identical. Before we take a closer look, I'd like to give you a complete overview of the uniform so you get a better idea as to where each of these pieces of insignia was located. Collar disc, shoulder sleeve insignia, discharge chevron, war service chevrons, and the spots for rank and any wound chevrons received. The first insignia we're going to look at are the collar disc. Now regulation dictated that on the right side of the collar, a US disc was to be worn, and on the left side, a disc which showed which branch within the army the soldier was a part of. On this particular uniform, you can see the soldier was a member of the medical corps. Some other examples of this are artillerymen, tank corps, chemical corps, or infantry. These discs also often had uh, regimental numbers or company letters incorporated into the designs. On the upper left sleeve, the shoulder sleeve insignia was worn. These were most commonly used to represent which division the soldier was a part of. These weren't officially authorized until late 1918, however some were worn unofficially before then. These could also be used to represent which army or corps the soldier was a part of. This particular patch represents the 7th Division. In the middle of the left sleeve, a red discharge chevron was worn. This was to show that the soldier had been honorably discharged. A soldier could be fined if he wore his uniform after the end of his service without the chevron attached. War service chevrons were worn on the bottom of the left sleeve and showed how many months or years the soldier had been serving for. A silver chevron represented six months of stateside service, a blue chevron less than six months of overseas service, and a gold chevron for six months of overseas service. As you can see, this uniform has two gold chevrons, so this would have been for at least one year of overseas service. Although this uniform does not have any insignia on the right sleeve, this is where any rank and wound chevrons would have been worn. All ranks through Master Sergeant would have been worn on the upper part of the sleeve, after which they would have been moved to the shoulder straps. Any wound chevrons would have been worn on the lower part of the sleeve. These wound chevrons were identical to the war service chevrons and were taken from the same stock. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below.